Everybody, it's Sports Time Americana Live when this one tonight goes out to Yvonne Lockhart. Yes, girl, you made it. Well, the primary school track and field championships uh, will start tomorrow. The Grand Bahama Sports Complex, the National High School Track and Field Championships, was three days of excitement and some records went down. The boys in the 18 high jump was a record breaking event. St. John's Tony Duncanson came to the track and gave the fans much to cheer about and the easy clearance. Queens College Christopher Johnson was up to the challenge at 1.96 meters, easy to clear. But the day belonged to Government High, Kyle Alcin. He cleared 1.96 with ease. The bar was then raised to 2.0. The record held by Ken Mullings. Alcin clears it. He is now a co record holder. The bar then went up to 2.02 meters. And he was focused and feeling the energy of the crowd at the Grand Bahama Sports Complex. Kyle cleared 2.02 meters and a new national record. And the gold medal goes to Government High School. I didn't. I execute coming out. Uh, coach said to stay tall. He gave me a call this morning. He said to stay, stay tall and don't rush any of my faces. They come out uh, a little big headed, thinking I'm the best. So I had to calm down and execute what my coach said. I watch you as you went over 1.96. A little indecisive in terms of your approach, but after that, you seem to settle down and look at two even and really just get over that. Well, uh, I. I know I could have cleared 196 because my personal best was two meters coming into this competition. So I just wanted to uh, just, eat, I mean, improve on that. The high school nationals was record breaking and all the events. Congratulations to Kyle Asin. And also the C.A. Smith Complex with the venue for the anti-doping seminar that's wrapped around the high school track and field nationals. To see a number of coaches and athletes actually turned out they had important information on the rules and regulations of the World Doping Agency. Education consultant for the Bahamas Anti-Doping Commission, that's Dr. Patty Simonet, said, The Bahamas is a small country, but because of its international stage, it's important to promote the message of clean sports to our athletes. Always looking for ways to educate, and because resources are limited, there, you know, I presented the idea to the chairman, who's Dr. Jerome Lightburn, who presented it to the board, and so we proceeded to um, prepare and submit the proposal. Um, so we did, and we got approval for it. So we're doing a national project, and we've already completed one in Abaco, so we're doing this one in Grand Bahama. We have one scheduled for New Providence, and then we go into North Eleuthera and centrally Luthra. So the idea really is to spread the message of clean sports. Well, Dr. Simmons says it's important for the athletes to understand that cheating is very wrong. Can um, perform better just by eating healthy, relying on their natural talent, training, and you know, um, we're in Grand Bahama to do that, and I think the athletes are ready. One of your own, Buddy Heald, who is yours and ours, <laughs> is doing exceptionally well. And the message is that we can be the best without cheating. And also, Zedna Soul Sports extend condolences to uh, that is another than uh, the coach of the Wolverines. And uh, he lost his wife yesterday. And I'll tell you what, Sydney, we do in turn feel your pain. Sid Thomas losing his wife. And all of us here feel it tonight. Let's look at sports.